Marcelli with my demonstration dog Petra and today we're going to show you how to train a dog to play dead. This is an impressive trick where we'll be asking our dog to drop to the floor when we point with our finger and say bang. There are several steps to teach this trick and it may take a bit to put them all together but practice makes perfect and we will be making the exercise easier by splitting it in several small steps. For this trick, we will be needing the following items. A dog who knows how to lie down and stay, some tasty treats, and a clicker. A clicker is a noise-making tool used to mark desired behaviors. If you don't have a clicker, you can replace the clicking sound with a verbal marker such as yes, followed by a treat. The yes gives your dog feedback informing him that he got it right and he'll be earning a treat. For this trick, I recommend working on a carpet or another soft surface. In this trick, we will be using a combination of methods to get our dog to play dead when we pronounce the verbal cue bang. We will be using a method known as luring where we use food as a lure to position our dog in a desired position. And then we will be also using shaping as we teach the behavior in several small steps. Finally, we will be using a prompt delay procedure to get our dog to drop dead upon hearing the verbal cue bang. So let's take a look at the process. Step one, we will be asking our dog to lie down and then we will be using a food here to guide our dog to lie down on her side with a movement as such. The moment her shoulders touch the floor, we click in reward. Let's see it again. Ready? As she gets good at this, then we're going to only click and reward when her head touches the floor, as such. Ready? Let's do it again. Ready? Step two. We don't always want to be stuck showing a treat to get our dog to lie on her side. So this time we're going to use our empty hand and we will be using the treats in the other hand to reward as such. Down. Good job. Let's see this again. Empty hand. Yay, good job. At some point, we may want to insert a stay at the end of the exercise just to add some duration when she's lying down flat, as such. Stay. Okay. Stay. Okay. Stay. Okay, good job. At some point, we don't want to rely always on this gesture to make our dog lie down on her side. So we will be morphing it into the pointing gesture that will become our bang gesture. We will be doing this gradually as such. the time that we would insert the verbal cue bang with our pointing finger. We will be basically doing as such. Bang. Lay down. Step 3. 
Step six, at this point we want our dog to only respond to the verbal cue bang with our pointing finger. We don't want to stay lie down anymore. Hopefully she'll anticipate us and if she does, we will be giving a jackpot of treats as such. Good job. Bang! Yay! Good job! Jackpot! Yay!